Hey guys, welcome to bullet journaling for beginners. Now I'm going to show you the basics of this system. That's main purpose is to keep your entire life organized. So what is bullet journaling? So this system staying organized was designed by Ryder Corral. In his words, the bullet journal is meant to help you track the past, organize the present and plan for the future. So grab some snacks, some tea, light up a candle and let's get ready to create. So a little embarrassing fact about me, I literally buy a new planner on a weekly basis. Here's some of the planners I've purchased throughout the end of last year alone and beginning of this year. I know I'm very much obsessed with stationery, but also I've realized I've never quite found a system of organizing my entire life that's worked. And that's where my love for bullet journaling has really come in. So, you know, I can customize my own journal planner or whatever you want to call it into whatever I like, which is amazing. So I'm curious to know, comment below your favorite way to stay organized and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to have the most productive and best year ever. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button to join the family and click that little bell to be notified of new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And once you've done those two things, comment below hashtag notification squad and you may be the one to get a huge shout out in my next video. So let's start off with the basics. So begin by thinking of what kind of journal you want, perhaps a blank page, a line, a dotted or a gridded one. It honestly does not matter what kind of notebook you have. It truly is all about your own preference. So I recommend you to do some research. So by this, I mean find inspiration for what kind of spreads speak to you and what inspires you. Look into some ideas on how you want to set it up, what kind of fonts you want to do, etc. Look at Pinterest, YouTube, and of course Instagram. Here I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite Instagram accounts that always inspire me. Their calligraphy skills is on point. Their bullet journal skills is on point. I highly suggest you guys to go check them out. Now I think it's important to mention that although bullet journaling is meant to be a fun and a creative way to stay organized, it's also supposed to be functional. So the best thing I've learned is to not worry that much about how cute it is and honestly instead just focus on making it simple enough for you to where you are actually going to use it on a daily basis. So for supplies all you really need is a notebook and a pen but if you wish to get fancy like myself here's a fun list of supplies and everything in this video and what I use will be linked down below. So honestly you can do colored pencils, rulers, calligraphy pens, stickers, washi tape, watercolors and even a little Polaroid printout which you guys will be seeing throughout the video and little printouts. Anything that you want to add to your bullet journal that will just make it feel more personal and help you express yourself and stay on top of your life. I personally really like these micro pens. They go from super fine tip to a perfect enough tip for calligraphy and these can be expensive but definitely worth the quality and with all the supplies I like to swatch them and save the paper so that throughout my creative process I can refer back to it and see the way that each supply writes and the individual look that each one gives off. I'm starting off with a year at a glance spread. So this is the overview of the year. So guys let me just just tell you drawing these little calendars oh my god it is tough it made me sweat writing out all these little numbers and whatnot ain't easy it could be so tedious so I'm actually gonna reference down below a printout that you can use to assist you and trust me use it it will help you out so much so for this you can add anything you want any spread you want to your bullet journal but I like this page as an intro to my new year bullet journal because it kind of just sets you up for the rest of the year which is great so this page is for your key so add a key page on the inside of your journal to use as a legend when using symbols. So these symbols can be used as signifiers to give extra context to your journal entries. Assign a unique symbol to represent tasks, events, appointments. So for my legend, the symbols that I used are, I used a little circle for a task, an X for a completed task, a right arrow for a migrated task, meaning something that I did not get to complete, a left arrow for a scheduled task, anything crossed out is something that I just canceled and got off my schedule, a little triangle is an event, an asterisk is important, and a little star is a little note. So that way you have a little key for the way that you're gonna be organizing your entries. So now I'm working on creating a future log. So this will help me keep track of future events. Generally, you will only use and create monthly and weekly spreads at the beginning of each month or the week. So you can just use your future log to record items that are happening further into the future. So then when you're ready to create your monthly or weekly spreads, this page will allow you to look back at any important dates to better assist you in planning for each month on the calendar. So once I write in my dates, I can just kind of quickly say, okay, I have this going on in February or March is nice and easy. Perhaps I can travel in the month. So it kind 
kind of just gives you a little future log on what's happening. So as you can see, I'm using a pencil and a ruler, a pencil so I can erase my mistakes and a ruler to keep me aligned and help me create the boxes that I want. Then I can start by adding some spice to it, like adding titles and colors. But of course, remember, this is meant to make your life easier. So don't worry about getting too fancy. Just make sure it's functional. So throughout the bullet journal, you can randomly add quotes that speak to your heart and will inspire you. So not only do I want my bullet journal to, you know, help me stay organized, but I also want to use it as a way to motivate me and have it as sort of a tool for my creativity. So this is where you can practice your doodling skills or your calligraphy skills and just kind of see what kind of fonts you like writing and play around with your own art style. All right, so now we're gonna be doing my year in review. Now this is supposed to say 2018, but you know, <laughs> your girl was a little excited about 2019. So I literally am just seeing this little mistake, which will likely happen throughout your bullet journal experience. You're gonna be making mistakes, but do not worry, life goes on. So adding a year in review is just a good way to stay reminded of your accomplishments. And of course your highlights the year before, you know, this gives you a chance to see all the good things you did at the end of the last year. And you can compare and kind of add to all of the wonderful things in your life. So to me, it's like a little highlight reel of all of the special moments. I thought that by adding pictures was just kind of a cute way to personalize it and give my bullet journal a little bit more life. So some of my accomplishments included going to Hawaii on a little retreat. It was the first time I ever did something for myself and this trip literally changed my life. Dennis and I also hit one year of being married, yay. And I got the chance to go on a 22 different city tour and meet you guys like all throughout the United States. It was amazing. And you know, honestly a huge thank you. And I have so much gratitude for 2018. And if you think about it, this is kind of a chance for you to say thank you to the year that has passed. Let's close this chapter in a good way and say hello low to 2019. So for these two spreads, I wanted to focus on my 2019 bucket list. So the things that I truly wanted to come back to at the end of the year and check off because I accomplished them. So I decided to write a little quote on this page, which I posted this on Instagram. And once again, little old me did a mistake. I literally misspelled Buddha. Oh my God. Yeah, that was embarrassing. But aside from that quote and, you know, getting reality checked by you guys and getting a little bit ridiculed on my Instagram, uh, beside all of that, you know, this quote represents a push for me because tomorrow is never really a promise. And we only really have today, the present to do the thing that we want to accomplish. So I wanted to set this as like my little mantra for how I'm going to be creating my bucket list this year. As for the font, I decided to do this style font that is a little bit long with one letter being higher. And then the next one is lower. So it kind of creates like a really cool effect like this once you are done it's pretty nice it's simple it's cute i liked it so your bucket list doesn't have to be anything crazy just things that you want to achieve this year and that excite you i actually wrote out 25 different slots because this year i'm turning 25 can you believe it I'm feeling kind of old. Just kidding. I am 25 years young. Well, I'm not 25 yet in March, but whatever. I decided to do 25 things that I want to focus on this year and accomplishing. In the end, I decided to add some color with my zebra liners, which are the best. And I really love how simple and functional this page turned out. So this page overall is just kind of a place to help me collect ideas and gather inspiration for when it comes to, you know, actually planning a trip. You can always just write down where it is that you want to go, or you can literally plan out your whole trip, like adding a packing list, itineraries, budgets, whatever you want. By the way, comment below where you want to go in this 2019. I'm really curious to know. But, you know, I kept mine simple with just little drawings of the places that are calling my name, which I can later on, of course, get a little bit more detailed on new year new me right okay so this is the time where we make our new year's goals so for this spread i took major inspiration from pinterest i wish i knew who the artist was but that's the thing with bullet journaling is if you're lost and you don't know what to do the best thing that i found to do is literally look after other people's bullet journal spreads emulate them change them up make them your own these are my goals for the year of 2019 so by adding your list of new year's goals i'll help you stay focused and motivated to attain them i think writing is such an incredible exercise it's sets the tone for okay i'm writing it down to make this a reality so i thought i'd keep this spread really nice and simple there's no rules to this remember it's all personal choice and i personally think that's the beauty of this so i would love to know if you could share with me some of your goals for 2019 in the comments i would love to read them so I've always loved reading, but you know, life is a little crazy sometimes and we forget to do the things we love. Well, no more of that for me. One of my goals for this year is to read two books a month, which, 
you know, honestly, that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's all about starting small. So I decided that if I track my reading each month, it'll help me track my reading habits and motivate me to keep reading. So the layout I chose is quite simple. As you can see, just a title and I added a border and a little drawing. I wrote out every month with two little squares for my goal of two books a month. And this is where I write out the title and the book followed by the little area where I will color in and kind of log how many pages I've been reading. So currently I'm reading The Medical Medium, a fantastic book all about how to heal chronic and mystery illnesses. I've only read 25 pages so far, so I'm going to log that in there. Sometimes we need reminders. So this is what I'm going to do with this page. I'm reminding myself of what my perfect morning routine would look like. So I can literally turn back to this page when I'm feeling kind of out of routine or when I have seemed to kind of like forgotten to prioritize my needs. All I did was just chose a single column on the side of the page with the hours of the days listed out. Then I just kind of thought of my perfect schedule. You know, to me, this is a really powerful exercise because this will not only help you focus on your goals, but it'll also help your thoughts become your reality. You can make it fun by drawing little images that come to your mind and inspire you or you can also just add some stickers to make it pop even more and if you don't want to draw or you're feeling a little lazy just add some stickers it's always kind of fun so here's another option I played around with for a goals layout. So this is for my more specific goals that I want to reach. So I have 10 boxes for 10 goals. So that way there's more structure and I decided to make it kind of cute and add some doodles. A good tip I learned is to utilize your ruler. Like literally that is what it's for. Use it. Really, I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. It helps create a cleaner layout that at the very end I was very much happy with. So now I'm using this layout for my monthly goals where I have different categories such as personal, fun, events, health, relationships, self growth. So this is my January monthly goal. So I have so many goals for the entire year, but I thought that, you know, if I break them into monthly, I'm not so overwhelmed each month and I can just do a few small goals that in the end add up to one big yearly goal. So this is my page for a monthly spread. This is where I'll write out important dates that I have to remember for January and it'll help keep me on track. Now, just remember that you can always just use a pencil first and then go back in and trace with your color of choice or marker and start decorating and making it look fun. So the theme for January that I chose was celebration to welcome the new year. So I decided with my gel pens to go for a very simple look and create little colorful confettis as if it's a party and I'm excited to party my way into January. And it's also super simple, it's clean, and overall I really love the results. I love adding a weekly spread because I'm able to plan, track, and of course glance at the week ahead of me. There's a ton of ways to create a weekly spread, but I chose a simple one, which was just the days of the week listed. I added some life to the pages with pictures, stickers that help me stay on track by creating certain habits throughout the week, and some washi tape. I love tracing letters in black with colorful markers, so just to give it a little extra pop of flavor. So I recently got this Polaroid Mobile Photo Mini Printer. Ooh, that is a tongue twister. So I can connect my phone and print out cute little Polaroids to add to my bullet journal so I decided to take some pictures that I took myself through my camera roll and print out pictures that just made me happy so I printed out this cute little cactus garden that I painted and I created myself because I wanted to continuously inspire myself to create this month I also printed out a picture of Jupiter and myself because he makes me super happy and one of my little family Jupiter Dennis and myself enjoying a beautiful day in Miami and it's just kind of a little reminder for me that this week is a week to also take breaks to allow myself to rest and to allow myself to take Take time off because that is totally okay do you see how cool this thing is like I am shook not only can I print out cute pictures but I can also print out cute quotes I like that way I'm able to cover up my little mistakes like this bird oh my god I'm so in love I added more affirmations to this page to help me build confidence remind me of my goals encourage me in the right direction towards achieving them this year and I just continued adding some stickers this tape is the bomb.com it is so cute little drawing or just whatever little things that made me smile so now that we've completed some of our pages, we can actually go back and start filling out our index. That's the very first page in the bullet journal. So if throughout the year we forget where certain pages are, we can just go back, turn to our index and find what we're looking for. It makes it that much more easy. The most wonderful thing is that any page can be wherever you want it to be. So every day is a new opportunity for a new spread. Well, here's my completed bullet journal so far. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys gathered some inspiration and that I motivated you to start bullet journaling. It is so much fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and that way I know 
know that perhaps I'll do a little February bullet journal spread video? I don't know. Let me know. Subscribe and join the family and hit that little bell to be notified of new videos. My goal was just to show you how fun and simple it can be to bullet journal. This does not have to have any rules. I just simply wanted to help you get some ideas flowing. So please remember it's not about aesthetics. It's really about making you organized and more productive. So please tag me in all your bullet journal creations at Natalie's Outlet, both on Instagram and Twitter. I cannot wait to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to live weird or die normal. Bye.